How's it you guys and welcome back to another episode of Zero to Hero, your wingboarding tutorial. This is episode seven, how to use these things, harness lines and a harness with your wing. Okay, I'll show you how to set it up and then we'll get out there. This was my first time setting up harness lines on a wing for foiling. And so bear with me here, but it'll be a good chance for you to learn how to set it up as well. So you can see the first step is to take off that uh, longer rope that's attached to the harness line, which I've already done on my secondary strap. You can see you loop it through the loop that's in between your handles and through the small loop at the end of the rope and make sure it's nice and tight. And if you're having trouble, go check out the starboard sup website and there's a how to attach your harness lines for the free wing for the secondary piece you're gonna loop it through the long end first and then all the way through the short side and then you're gonna cinch the loop of the harness line to your uh, other rope that you've attached to your front loop of the wing. I set it up on the furthest away knot to give me a little bit of distance away from the body. We'll see how it works. Now for the harness, you can see you want that hook facing down and strapping your uh, harness nice and tight around your waist just above your hips Let's rock and roll <laughs> Once you get down to the beach give a go testing out your new harness lines Hook in and feel the release of pressure off your arms practice letting go with one hand or the other or both and uh, Yeah Get some practice in before you throw yourself out in the water with it. And if you've missed episode number two of Zero to Hero Wingboarding Tutorial, here's a little preview into my entrance into the water through this shore break, managing the wingboard and foil with the wing, of course, on the downwind side. If this is your first time using a harness, you want to keep in mind not to lay down flat on top of your board, as you could really damage your board with that uh, harness hook out in front of your stomach. So one of the first things I realized when getting going is it was a little bit more of a cluster out in front of me with the leash and as well the uh, harness line. As you can see there, the harness line and the leash getting caught together, getting a little flustered and catching my first catapult with the uh, wing foil harness setup. So be prepared for a few of those. Gets a little bit more uh, sketchy wipeouts when you're hooked in. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. Getting a feel for it. Once you feel like you're getting balanced, you could uh, start to see that you can relieve pressure off uh, one hand or the other, or, or both. In this case, I'm letting go of my front hand, which is giving all the control to my back hand on that trailing edge of the wing to position the wing over my head accordingly. Started to really realize you control the position of the wing with how you're 
adjusting that leading edge or in this case since my hands on the trailing edge how I'm adjusting the trailing edge to point the the leading edge either up above my head into the wind or uh, down uh, a little bit towards down and out in front of me of course one of the beauties of foiling is it's already so light in your hands but with the harness lines you could literally let go with both hands and be able to have comfort especially for long distances and for guys uh, covering great times on the water I think this might come in handy if you're a rider that also doesn't like to switch from regular foot to goofy foot this may also come in handy here's a perfect example I haven't switched my stance yet I'm still in my goofy position while coming in kinda crossed up a little bit and with the harness lines, I could let go of that front hand and feel a lot of relief around the hips because you weren't all twisted up with your lower body facing upwind and your upper body uh, stretching towards the wing downwind. So being able to let go with your front hand, uh, not going switch, was definitely a plus. Yeah, so these rides and uh, these clips are pretty much my first experience with the harness lines. So you guys are getting a vibe with uh, me getting the hang of it. There's another uh, e example of a common thing you might experience when trying to go one-handed is that uh, wing tip touching the water and you don't have as much control to recover the wing. Um, and in that case, my harness was still kind of stuck and so got pulled into the water a little bit more rough of a wipeout. Now here you could see edging into the wind and going upwind is really comfortable. Uh, being able to open your hands uh, upwind a bit more. Um, one thing I want to mention is with the harness lines, make sure you take your harness line off before executing your jibe or tack. And so here you see another jibe, uh, making sure that harness line is off before you uh, change your feet or adjust your line uh, into your your jibe. Now there we go with uh, the first switch example there. Um, and now swinging that uh, harness line into the harness is kind of a technique in itself. Um, but yeah, you start to get the hang of hooking in but those first few times will take some repetition to create a comfortable routine. Alright, now for this one, jumping into the switch stance before executing the jibe, uh, taking the harness line off a little late. I would have actually preferred to take the harness line off uh, before switching the feet, but for that one, I am. Um, must have been a little flustered with the GoPro. <laughs> but uh, practicing going into your switch stance, I think, is a pretty necessary thing. I know a lot of people struggle with it, especially if you have a surf background. You're more used to staying in your natural stance. Um, but the beauty of the wing is it allows you to open your mind and uh, get outside the comfort zone. And I think it will encourage you to want want to go back and forth into your different switch stances. Um, it definitely helps when you're edging into the wind to be uh, to have your back into the wind as opposed to your stomach into the wind like that. Um, so before driving I switched back to my natural stance uh, and uh, here's a few more examples of some some uh, transfers um, outside of the harness lines because whenever you're doing your jibes and your tacks you, you don't necessarily want to be hooked in uh, but there you could see was able to time that swing of the harness line to hook right into the harness and uh, enjoy in the ride all right you guys I hope you uh, got to learn a little bit about how to use your harness lines for the free wing we'll see you on the water all right aloha <laughs>